Okay, so Sagittarius energy. What do you guys, how do you guys need to interact with the Hermit? Ooh. Page of Cups. This is about looking at our energy and looking about looking at how we go about getting what we want. Okay, so the Page of Cups shows up whenever we are like being invited to recognize that it is the attitude through which we go about like looking into things that often de dictates what we look at. You know, change how you look at things and what you look at changes. Max Planck said that. He was like a, a quantum physicist. This card has this, like, it's like the ocean in the back and the page is that primary feminine representative in, you know, the court cards. And with water elements, the cups, uh, the cup cards, that's also feminine energy. So this is a double feminine energy, which is interesting to me. Sagittarius is a very masculine, a very fiery sign, very much about pursuing and being the hunter and going out and exploring and trying on new things. The thing with the Page of Cups is about a, an attitude of knowing that you're going to get what you're looking for without knowing what you're, you're looking for, necessarily. So Sagittarius energy, I think there's, a, there's, a, there's an asking of you being confidently humble. You know, so knowing what you're going after, knowing that you're going to get the results, but actually re relinquishing the, you know... Um, I know I'm exploring, I know I'm this, I know I'm that, which is a kind of Sagittarian uh, characteristic for me because, you know, the, the hunter doesn't go out without intention. So Sagittarius has this sense of really knowing what it's after. It, it wants new experiences, it's bored, it wants to expand, it wants abundance, it literally wants everything. It wants to devour, eat, experience, feel, you know, speak it all. And what the Page of Cups is really asking of us is an ultimate receptive mode. It's not that penetrative, you know, I know, right? Which is a very like closed off and typically masculine assertion because the mind knows. You know, the body, the body knows, but I'd have to say that the body like capital K knows. The body experiences, you know, the body maybe understands in a lot of ways. And to be open and receptive to things happening that you don't know, that you don't understand, while, like, looking for a deeper awareness and understanding and a leveling up moment from this mystery, that is that kind of masculine-feminine marriage that's being asked of Sagittarians right now. It's like, open yourself up, relinquish knowing, but but claim ownership that you will know, okay? That, that, that by being open and relinquishing the knowing, that there's going to be achieved a deeper sense of knowing, that you're going to attract to yourself exactly what would totally fill up your cup at this distinct moment in time. Okay, so in terms of how like the hermit plays into that, I'm sorry I didn't, jump like totally connect the two but like you know interestingly enough they're both holding things in the same hand looking the same direction you know and the 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 hermit looking down but allowing this inner light to be that ultimate guide that's kind of the 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 background of what i had just said because sagittarius energy is t t typically very intentional about exploration intentional about its hunting process attention intentional about finding more accumulating more experiencing more abundance with you know the way that we're we're being asked sagittarius energy is being asked to to be open is so that you can connect with the things that you don't know yet that are within you, that you need to uncover. Because a lot of times that outwardly expressive, overtly, you know, um, penetrative energy doesn't take the time to really look within and really do stuff that would put you out on a limb. So that's another thing with Sagittarius energy. It is very extroverted and has like a tendency to be concerned with like 
its view, like people's view of them in the world. And this is, so this is asking a lot of malleability. This is asking a lot of openness. It's like recognize that when you relinquish knowing, you can get to a deeper level of knowing. When you relinquish being, you know, accepted and, and knowing the, the path that you're on, you open yourself up to a deeper level of fulfillment, a deeper level of alignment, a deeper level of, you know, being totally found and knowing where you're going. But you have to be open to the, you know, that stage of the hunter where you're like really aware and observant instead of just like, I know what I'm doing, I'm going after it. 